let us see a poem now poem 4 going for water going for water <coughs> poem number 4 and it is written by Robert Frost and he is very famous for his uh, nature poems uh, Robert Frost let us see the poem now the well was dry beside the door and so we went with pail and can across the fields behind the house to seek the brook if still it ran see the well was dry beside the door and so we went with a pail and a can across the fields behind the house to seek the brook if still it ran and there was a well behind his house and that was dry so the speakers here the poem poet is not describing his own experience and through some speakers he is giving you this poem and here the speakers are the children and you will come to know oh, the children the plural are for it now and so we went with the pail and the can pail it is a small bucket it is a small bucket it is called pail and can to fill the water across the fields behind the house and then behind their house there is there are fields and to seek the brook if still it ran brook brook means it is a small stream a small stream it is small stream brook if it still runs and they are going in search of water that is from the brook and that, that they have they have heard about it so they are going out for in search of that and here the let us see the rhyme scheme first it is dog and the next stanza ends with can so it is a b and the next one is another a new concept so it is c and here again we have b so the rhyme scheme in this stanza in this stanza is a b c b the rhyme scheme in the stanza is a b and c b and and we can see the alliteration in the first line itself dry and door alliteration in the first line itself we have dry and door and in the next line we have we went and with so we went and with our alliterations in the second line and in the third there is no alliteration in the third line and we have alliteration in the fourth line seek and still seek and still it is seek and sorry still it is and there is no figure of speech is found here so again i am i'm just reading it 
the well was dry beside the door since it is a memory poem you just have note the pronunciation of it so that you will be able to memorize it easily the well was dry beside the door and so we went with pail and can across the fields behind the house to seek the brook if still it ran now let us see the next stanza not lot to have excuse to go because the autumn eve was fat though chill because the fields were ours and by the brook our woods were there not let to have excuse to go because the autumn before was for though chill because the fields were ours and by the brook our woods were there and not let to have excuse to go and there was no dislike for going into the fields into the woods behind that and there is no dislike they don't they liked it they loved it going through the fields and woods because the autumn autumn is the season one of the seasons it is yeah, that you know very well the season the four seasons and eve that means evening evening was fair the autumn evening was fair very nice it was and because the fields were ours because the fields behind their house was their own so and though the climate was chill and by the brook our woods were there and they have got woods woods means that you know very well it is a for a thick forest it is woods thick forest were there near the brook not loth to have excuse to go because autumn it was for though chill because the fields were ours and by the brook our woods were there and here we have the alliteration it is a and it is b and it is c it is and again we have b so here also the rhyme scheme in this stanza is a b c b the rhyme scheme and we have alliterations only in the fourth line and by brook and wood where so alliteration by brook and woods where they are the alliterations found in this in this stanza and there is no figure of speech found in the in this stanza so let me read it again not let to have excuse to go because the autumn eve was fair though chill because the fields were ours and by the brook our woods were there let us see the next stanza we ran as if to meet the moon the meet the moon that slowly down 
behind the trees the baron vows without the leaves without the birds without the breeze without the breeze we ran as if to meet the moon that slowly dawned behind the trees the barren boughs without the leaves without the birds without the breeze here only they start the poet started to describe the woods here the climate we ran as if to meet the moon with the the children they ran through the fields as if they are going to meet the moon to meet the moon and that slowly down behind the trees and that was that's coming down the trees it was coming down the trees down the by these lines we can just we can imagine that it is a, it is the twilight that means it is go, the night is going to fall down that slowly down behind the trees the barren boughs without leaves because of the autumn season we have seen in the previous paragraph and the the season was autumn so the boughs branches boughs means branches were without leaves and uh, without the birds and if there is no leaves and we cannot see the birds and without the breeze and we cannot see the breeze also because of the season autumn autumn season when there there was no birds and uh, there was no breeze and uh, the branches were without leaves and uh, here in this uh, we have moon the rhymes let us see the rhyme, rhyme scheme a and trees b leaves b and uh, breeze is also b so the rhyme scheme is rhyme scheme is a b b b a b b b it is trees leaves breeze and uh, we have some alliterations here alliterations and in the first itself we have meet moon meet moon and in the second line that tree it is that tree and in the third line barren boughs barren boughs barren boughs and then the fourth line also we have without without so without 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 and without so these are the alliterations found in these stanza and we have a figure of speech in this figure of speech let us see what it is figure of speech in the first line itself in the first line itself as if they are going to meet the moon they are just running they are running to towards the moon to catch it so it is called hyperbole hyperbole it is hyperbole means it is merely exaggeration exaggeration just they are exaggerating that they are going to touch the moon they are running towards the trees that is the moon is going to um, hid itself behind the trees let us see the next stanza but once within the woods
within the wood we passed like norms that hid us from the moon ready to run to hiding now hiding new this with laughter when she found as soon but once within the woods we passed like norms that he does from the moon ready to run to hiding new with laughter when she found us soon found as it is found us soon with laughter when she found us soon and here but once within the wood because it was going to be dark and the, especially the woods will be dark even in the in the day time and it is uh, the moon has come out so it it has become dark so since the wood was very dark they just passed that means they stopped for a while they stopped for a while and uh, like norms norms are the dwarf dwarf like gods that gods the treasure treasure under the under the earth dwarf like gods that guards the treasure under the earth like norms that hid us from the moon and the wood just hid them uh, hid them from the moon because they could not see the moon from here and they felt that they were the norms in the dark ready to run to hiding new with laughter when she found us soon and they were ready to play with in the in that wood and they were very happy to play hide and seek with the moon they play hide and seek hide and seek with the moon they wanted to play hide and seek with the moon and and when they laughed when the moon has come out uh, she found us soon that means the moon has uh, found them soon so they started to laugh and they started their play again that means uh, they were playing hide and seek in that in, among the woods now let us see the rhyme scheme here past this past a and moon is b and the new is c and again soon we have b so the rhyme scheme is a b c b a b c b and we have alliteration alliteration in the first first strand line itself with wood with wood and in the sign the second line there is no alliteration and in the third line we have ready and run ready and run and in the third stanza we have with when with when and 
here we have some figure of speech the figure of speech found in this stanza is uh, that lies in the second line like uh, nouns so it is uh, simile that we have already learnt what is simile is no, it is a comparison using like uh, or as so and we have one more uh, figure of speech here this she she it, it, it denotes the moon but the moon is not uh, the pers person so it is personification the moon is personified here the she is uh, she denotes the moon so in here the moon is personified so we have personification in this line let us see the next stanza each laid on other a stain and to listen before we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we had we knew we had the brook each laid on other a staying hand to listen before we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we had we knew we had the brook and each laid on other a staying hand because it was dark they should not be separated in the dark that is why they laid a staying hand on the other that means they joined their hands together to listen before we dared to look because because of the dark and they were dared but they were dared to look at the uh, look into the dark in search of the brook and before we dared to look and it is before and in the hush we joined to make in the hush means there was absolute silence silence there there was absolute silence we joined to make we had we knew we had the brook they heard the noise of that brook that brook in a distance place that was making noise so they had the noise and by by hearing the noise and they were much pleased and they go towards it each laid on other a staying hand to listen before we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we had we knew we had the brook and they they are just stressing we had and we had the brook the sound of that brook and here hand ye and to listen before we dared to look it is b and again c again b and this rhyme scheme in this passage in the stanza is a b c b rhyme scheme this a b and c b and the alliteration alliter 
duration is in the second line listen in the second line listen and look and again we in the third start third line v v v so v v v alliteration and we we don't find any figure of speech in this passage again i am reading it each laid on other a staying hand to listen before we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we heard we knew we had the brook let us see the next stanza a note as from a single place a slender tinkling fall that made now drops that floated on the pool on the pool like pearls and now yeah silver blade silver blade a note as from a single place a slender tinkling fall that made now drops that floated on the pool like pearls and now a silver blade a note it is a, a single sound in the music single sound in the music single a note as from the from a single place it was a single place and a note they are just hearing the sound of the brook and that that is heard as a note from the music a slender tinkling fall that made that fall that means the flow of the water that made the tingling tingling means it is a sound made by the metals sound of a metal sound of a metal tingling sound a slender slender means thin a thin a light tingling the fall that made now drops that floated on the pool that means the flowing of the water that uh, they look like uh, pearls like pearls uh, they look like the drops of water and now a silver blade that means uh, that uh, uh, the brook has uh, narrowed brook has become very thin so it is looking like a silver blade and a note from a single place a slender tinkling fall that made now drops that floated on the pool like pearls and now a silver blade now let us see the rhyme scheme rhyme scheme it is a b c and again it is a b b so the rhyme scheme is a b c b a b c b is the rhyme scheme and here alliteration alliteration it is in the second line tinkling that tinkling that in the second line and in the third line also that the that the the third line in the four there is no alliteration in the fourth line but here we have the figure of speech 
it is like pearls so figure of speech is figure of speech is simile simile is the figure of speech again a note as from a single place a slender tinkling fall that made now drops that floated on the pool like pearls and now a silver blade we have some questions at the back of the poem page number 92 in your textbook answer the following and this practice will make you to answer the questions asked in the examination so why had the speaker to go to the brook why had the speaker to go to the brook why they are going to the brook eh? the well in their house house became dry so the children they are the speakers the children had to go to the brook why had the speaker to go to the brook the well in their house became dry so the children had to go to the brook the children were the speakers next question did the speakers speakers enjoy the trip into the woods into the woods what makes you to say so did the speakers enjoy the trip into the woods what makes you to say so yes they enjoyed and uh, they enjoyed the trip they enjoyed the trip they ran into the woods played hide and seek hide and seek with the moon they played hide and seek with the moon they enjoyed the trip they ran into the woods played hide and seek with the moon the next question is when did the speakers visit the wood woods during the day or the night look for hints into the poem when did the speakers visit the woods during the day or night look for hints into the poem and uh, the speakers visited the woods at the dawn and we can very well write when the night started 
the moon in the sky shows that it is dawn the speakers visited the woods at the dawn the when the night started the moon in the sky shows that it is dawn because they were playing with the moon no? that is why and why did the speakers pass in the woods who found them soon why did the speakers pass in the woods who found them soon there was dark in the woods there was dark in the woods so the children passed children passed the moon found them soon the moon found them soon because of the dark and because of the trees with the thick forest and they could not see the moon so they were searching for it actually they were playing hide and seek then later they found the moon next question why did each lay a straying hand straying hand on the other why did each lay a straying hand on the other it was dark they should not get separated from each other each other so they laid a staying hand on the other why did each lay a staying hand on the other it was dark they should not get separated from each other so they laid a staying hand on the other the next question quote the words that describe the flow of the brook pick out the words that describe the flow of the brook we had the brook and a note as from a single place a slender tinkling fall drops that floated on the pool like pearls a silver braid 
see we heard the brook we pick out the words that describe the flow of the brook and we have to select the words from the poem that which denotes the uh, brook the sound of the brook we had the brook and the next one is a note as from a single place and a slender tinkling fall the drops that floated on the pool like pearls we had silver blade all these sentences they denote the word, they describe the flow of the brook why is the river referred to as a silver blade why it is called the why it is called silver blade the brook runs like a thin streak it is as bright as as bright as silver in the moonlight the brook runs like a thin streak so thin it was so it is as bright as silver in the moonlight in the moonlight it reflects as a silver how does the rhyme scheme of stanza differ from those of stanzas 1 and 2 what is the difference between the first two paragraphs and the third paragraph in stanza 3 the rhyme scheme is is a b b b but n stanzas 1 and 2 1 and 2 the rhyme scheme is a b a b a b c b this see the stanza 3 the rhyme scheme is a b b b but in stanzas 1 and 2 the rhyme scheme is b a b c b question number 9 pick out the words in alliteration in stanza 3 in the stanza 3 we have to pick out the alliterations and uh, here meet moon that tree baron bows without without only in this stanza we have some more number of alliterations that is why it is specified in this question and the next question is memorize the third fourth memorize the third 
फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्स ऑफ द पोएम मेमोराइज द थर्ड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्स ऑफ द पोएम एंड दैट इज व्हाट हैज बीन आस्ड इन द पब्लिक एग्जामिनेशन आल्सो सो जस्ट गो थ्रू ऑल दिस give importance to the all these three than the others but don't forget you should you should you should memorize the whole poem okay and let me read the third stanza we ran as if to meet the moon that slowly dawned behind the trees the barren boughs without the leaves without the birds without the breeze but once within the wood we passed like gnomes that hid us from the moon ready to run to hiding new with laughter when she found us soon each laid on the other a staying hand to listen before we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we heard we knew we had the brook uh, let us see how the questions are asked in the public examination in april 2012 and in sec question b for section 4 poetry section 4 poetry and in that part 1 question number 39 and it was quote from memory quote from memory and with Lava dash 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 and had the brooks five lines five lines you have to write and it is from the fourth stanza the last line fourth stanza last line with lava. when she found us soon each laid on other a staying hand to listen before we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we had we knew we had the brooks these five lines were asked in the in the april 12 question and in october 2012 and no other questions are asked in the in this question paper again in october also only one question has been asked quote from memory quote from memory five marks for this and we ran as if we passed five lines five lines we ran as if to meet the moon it is from the third stanza and the and one more line from the fourth stanza is also taken we ran as if to meet the moon that slowly dawned behind the trees the barren boughs without the leaves without the birds without the breeze but once within the wood we passed only five lines no other questions were asked in this question paper in the same october 12 question paper over there is one more question asked see in part 2 part 2 there was a question each laid on dash dad to look dad to look two lines are given two lines are given each laid on and dared to look and there was a question why did each lay a hand lay a staying hand on the other and we have already seen the answer for the answer let us see again it was it was darkness it 
was the night is going to come again and the moon has already come and they were they were inside the woods and with it was so dense that the trees just hid the moon and the moonlight so it was so dark so they should not get separated from each other so they laid yeah staying hand on each other again why did each lay a staying hand on the other it was darkness they should not get separated from each other so they laid a staying hand on each other and and there was one more question in that same question but once the poetic line is given within the wood we passed one line is given i will keep five the words which make this sentence an example of figure of speech called alliteration called alliteration from this line we have to find out the alliteration and it is uh, within would we so within would and we are the alliterations found in the in this line the next question the same question paper we ran as if to meet the moon to meet the moon one line is given from poem identify the figure of speech it is the hyperbole that means exaggeration exaggeration they are not going to touch the moon but as if they they are going to meet the moon they are running it that so it is called hyperbole and in april 2013 and uh, memory not asked in this in this question paper quote from memory is not uh, not asked from this poem question number 42 but once within but once within the wood we passed like gnomes that hid as from the moon two lines are given from the poem but once within the wood we passed like gnomes that hid us from the moon the question was what are 
norms. What are norms? Answer is uh, norms are creatures like uh, small men. And, and there is another word for this dwarf like dwarf like men. They guard they guard the underground treasures. Underground treasures they guard, they are, they are the gods for that. And it, it is a myth, it is exactly a myth it is called, but the, there is no norms or exist in this world. So, it is an exaggeration of the poet. Now, the next question, the same question paper. Now, drops that float on the pool like like pearls and now a silver blade a silver blade two lines are given and the question is what is a figure of speech used in these lines. What is the figure of speech used in these lines? And we have already seen it is like. So, the figure of speech used in these lines is simile. And you, you just underline that or underline that or write it in a, a different color so that it can be seen easily for the teacher to give a tick mark. And in June, it is the instant examination in June 2013. And here in this question also no memory poem was asked. Question number 47, like pearls and now a yeah, silver blade. Only one line is given and from that again it is asked name the figure of speech. used in the above line. Name the figure of speech used in the above line and here some options are also given. Simile, metaphor, personification. It's so easy that you can very well write the answer simile because there is like. It is very so, so easy it is and there is one more question given in that say, describe the experiences of the children of the children on their way to seek water. It is a paragraph question. You have five marks for this. Describe the experiences of the children on their way to seek water. That means going to the brook. Now the ne next question. It is uh, the September 2013. And usually we call it October 
but in this time in the question paper itself it is given as a September. In the question number 39 quote from memory. Quote from memory and uh, we ran as if uh, and uh, we passed five lines. We have to write five lines from this and uh, it is from the third paragraph. We ran as if to meet the moon that slowly down the behind the trees, the barren boughs without the leaves, without the birds, without the breeze. But once within the wood we passed. It is only in the third stanza and in the fourth stanza, the first line, up to first line. Now the next question is, uh, ready to run hiding new only one line is given with laughter when she found us soon found us soon whom does the question is whom does the word she refer to the she and when she it is she whom does the word she refer to and here she refers to the moon refers to the moon next question now drops that floated on the pool like pearls like pearls and what is the figure of speech used here what is the figure of speech used in the above lines again and again this question has been asked and the figure of speech is a simile simile is the answer for this now I am giving you the paragraph question describe the experiences of the children on their way to to seek water. I am just writing the paragraph now and your teachers might have given some different kinds of paragraphs or different kinds of sentences but uh, it is my duty to give you the paragraph. The children went into the woods in search of water, in search of water because there was no water and that has become dry in their house so they went it was autumn season because there was no there was no leaves on the branches they were barren you know? the trees were without leaves there were neither birds nor breeze in the woods
साइलेंस एंड चिलनेस फिल्ड द एयर फिल्ड द एयर एस द डे वॉज फॉलिंग The moon emerged. The moon emerged. The children stopped for a while in the woods because of the darkness. they looked like gnomes they ran about and played hide and seek with the moon with the moon then they laid hands on each other and walked quickly walked quickly what the quickly they heard the gentle mama this mom marmar it is of the brook marmar of the brook they followed that followed the sound and found the brook they found the brook drops of water floated like pearls the brook looked like a yeah silver blade in the moonlight in the moonlight and let me read the paragraph again the children went into the woods in search of water it was autumn season the trees were without leaves there were neither birds nor breeze in the woods silence and chillness filled the air as the day was falling the moon emerged the children stopped for a while in the woods they looked like in norms then they ran about and played hide and seek with the moon then they laid hands on each other and walked quickly they heard the gentle murmur of the brook they followed the sound and found the brook drops of water floated like pearls the brook looked like a silver blade in the moonlight